My name is Erin Byer-Waltis. But when I first decided to become a scrum master, I was actually a recovering project manager. And uh, like a lot of people, I was in a hunt on trying to figure out how I was going to help my teams um, uh, start using this thing called Agile. And uh, I went to my CSM and uh, did all those normal things, but I really felt like something was missing. I didn't understand how to start helping people change their behaviors. Uh, it was in one of these classes that I actually was introduced to the to the framework for the first time, and it really was this aha moment, this eye-opening experience to, you know, really see there in person how differently I could uh, approach a problem by, you know, really taking a stance as a mentor or a trainer or a coach or a facilitator. Um, it also opened my eyes up to all of these different tool sets. Um, and places I needed to look to really grow, uh, grow myself uh, into the craft, you know, before I could really shift from just being a scrum master, but to helping people, you know, really implement this and take this on as a coach. That was a few years ago since then, and I've moved on to helping teams, you know, really uh, implement this at all areas of the business. Um, I've used the framework many times since then. There's, there's a lot of vague things about what it means to be a teams coach, whether you're doing Scrum or Kanban or just Agile principles, and it's not clear out there how you can really actively play that part. Um, I, a lot of people throw out terms, you know, uh, Scrum Master equals facilitator, coach, uh, bulldozer, you know, impediment remover, and this can be really difficult because these are all outcomes uh, instead of a real understanding of where they can find these tool sets. It's, it's created a, a framework of learning for people to become better agile coaches and team coaches no matter where they are in the business. Um, and when they're presented with this, this framework, um, it gives them a, a real starting point to say, you know, where I'm at, I need the facilitation first and I can go after that, or I need the coaching and I can go after that first. Uh, we run an agile coaching um, special interest group in Denver and we actually introduced the framework to them just a couple weeks ago and it was amazing how many people out there that are calling themselves coaches or wanting to be coaches or consultants you know around helping people do work better and changing their the beliefs of and creating better cultures you know they themselves will start admitting that they struggle with what it means or where they've come from and um, we've been able to have these really robust discussions around this framework about where did I start? Did I start as a trainer? Did I start as a mentor or an expert, you know, technical expert? And, and where am I going? Um, and where do I need to go just for myself personally in my career? Um, and also how can I guide people themselves, you know, in these roles in the company I'm going into? Uh, so it's just been a wonderful platform and foundation to uh, grow this agile coaching craft that uh, I know was very fuzzy for me in the beginning, but um, has given me a place to jump off from, continually return to, to see how I feel like I've strengthened or where I need to be for a client. So um, I'm really excited to see where it continues to go, and I know that I will be continuing to use it for myself personally, uh, as well as introducing it to friends, other coaches, peers, uh, as well as clients to help them continue to grow their foundation in the practice. Thanks.